Yo, on this week of K-Pop RC, uh, we paint. We paint the E30. Gotta make sure you got the right protection. Yo, welcome to K-Pop RC, the channel where I make sick videos of scale models. Pretty much anything that's got a remote. So, don't forget to sub up for giveaways and sick ass RC content. Yo, my goodness. This actually really needs a recap because I mean, I'm having trouble remembering what the hell's going on. All right, we started with an E30 BMW Touring. It's a wagon. These beautifully engineered German cars are the darling. If you can find one that's rust free, there's something so awesome about being utilitarian with your cool model models. You make a grandpa's grocery getter into a uh, wild beast drifter. How about it? First, we started with a D9 Bulldog chassis, which uh, was heavily modified with my 3D printer. What's cool about this chassis is that it has shock towers in the appropriate places, like real life, you know? Built a cage, we added a rear end, and we're doing a scale ass engine. Oh, sh I can't forget about the bobs. The breakout bobs. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then uh, I suggest you watch the previous episodes of the Scale Drift Project. And uh, if you got some time on your hands, as I know a lot of us do, check out the previous Scale Drift builds. We already washed this thing. I washed it thoroughly. You know, lay on a few coats of this. Let's see how it goes. First time I'm using the liquid mask stuff. So, okay, well, all right. Okay, I'm gonna break it up into sections. Hot, delicious tip uh, to apologize to your girlfriend for poisoning her due to the paint fumes. Bake a cheesecake. Yep. The fast mask took an incredible amount of time to dry, so maybe bake two cheesecakes. Yeah. It almost looks black, but uh, I only painted the front. Uh, I also didn't leave the silver because it always looks so badass on BMWs when they have the uh, like racing front grille that's like not chrome. Also, I painted the black behind the uh, European license plate trunk lid. On the stock ones, they're black. Some people paint them the body color, but that this is the way BMW did it from the factory. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so when you're painting these Lexan bodies, it is key to do uh, the darkest colors first. Black trim always goes first. So that's what I did here. First I used Fast Mask, Fast Mask to cover the whole body. I washed the body, which is super important with dish soap. I didn't use an abrasive scrubber. You can actually scratch the Lexan and the windows will become kind of cloudy and foggy with scratches. You don't want that. Uh, you do that because these molds, they use this like oil so that this piece of Lexan can pop off easily. But that mold release is basically an oil, so you wanna, you wanna make sure there's no residual um, oil on your Lexan before you start painting. That's why I also highly recommend you get the polycarbonate body cleaner to clean any overspray, anything that um, lands on the Lexan where it shouldn't, if it spills or leaks where the masking tape is and leaves a little run, this and a Q-tip will clean all that up. up. I've never done this before, I've never peeled the fast mask off, so now I'm gonna painstakingly remove everywhere that I need to paint red. I hope I don't, but if I do it up, I have another one of these. What's cool about this one is I cut the bumper out because like I am gonna run this body uh, bumper list so you can see all the intercooler and all the kind of inner workings that I spent so much time building. I might also do the front 
hood opening clamshell like, like the front nose, like it does stock. Or I might just leave it naked or leave it open or add magnets so that I can pop it on if I want to. That would be cool. But um, what's cool about this is this is gonna be sort of the uh, showcase body, showcases the engine bay. I may also, if I can find one, because I can't seem to find any more backfire kits, I may have made them too famous. And check it out up here, the video where I put a backfire unit on um, Adam LZ, the Adam LZ build. That may have made it too popular. I think we're at like two million views and anytime that becomes uh, in stock on RC Mart, it goes like five. But anyway, how cool would it be to have a um, hood exit exhaust that backfires? Cause like, you know, boosted boy styles or whatever. That would be sick. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Things didn't turn out. Uh, I thought that maybe I would use the mask because it has like perfectly straight lines and I can't cut perfectly straight lines with an exact knife, so I decided to use that. But as it turns out, this mask is cut much smaller than the actual windscreen. So I had to add some tape to fill out the holes, which sucks because I thought I, for this project I wouldn't have to use tape, but whatever man, sometimes you gotta use what you know. If you dudes want to have like all the ultimate success painting fucking Lexan bodies, every time you mask, whatever you're gonna paint next, you need to just make sure, make absolutely positively sure that there is no color bleed on any of these panels. If you didn't mask this completely because you're only spraying a little part over here, uh, check every panel because uh, overspray is a bitch and it will ruin your goddamn paint job. These are the tips that I'm picking up. Uh, I'm by no means an expert. Uh, there are tons of people online who um, do this thing much better than I can and uh, I'm learning. So if you guys have any tips, uh, leave them in the comments below. Uh, help each other out because like that's what this hobby should be all about, right? It's like helping each other get better at what we do. All right, bright red. Yo, what I don't show you is to get a really bright color. Uh, always back it with white. After you're finished painting your bright color, make sure to give a few coats of white paint. That will ensure the brightest, brilliant color. Now we let it off gas for like a few hours. What? So you should probably be using this paint in a well-ventilated area, but if you're not, uh, now's the time to let the animals out in the backyard. Uh, also, maybe give the girl girlfriend a gas mask. Stings the nostrils. I don't know. So now we're gonna clean it. I mean, these are all gonna be covered with vinyl. Like, we're gonna use vinyl to like outline all this stuff. So if it looks a bit how you doing? We're gonna clean up all of these like rough edges with thin vinyl. It's actually looking pretty dope, man. On camera, it looks freaking dope. Anyway, okay, onward. What kind of scale project would this be if I didn't build some kind of rear diffuser? Rear diffusers look bad, freaking ass. Oh, and don't worry, I do eventually print it out of black.
Yo, that's it for this episode of K-Pop RC. Stay tuned. Next episode, we'll put some final touches on the turbo and the uh, valve cover for this build. Uh, Also, we deck the body out with vinyl and we reveal the other body, which is super cool. Uh, But it's looking pretty glorious, I have to admit. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! The winner. I should probably announce the winner, shouldn't I? Super shout out goes to hobbywingdirect.com. Check them out. Hopefully, my discount code still works. It is K pop rocks. Get a nice substantial discount if you do buy your electronic components, your motors, and your ESCs for whatever FPV, buggies, on road, whatever, man. They got it. Yo, and the winner of the ESC motor combo is PF. Uh, PF, I sent you a message with some instructions. Um, so follow them. And that ESC combo is yours. Man, it's a really shitty time in the world right now, so why not bring back some uh, giveaways in the comments? Let me know why you want some uh, Recaro 110 scale seats, and I'll pick a winner for the next episode. Hopefully, it won't take six months to post it. I mean, it's already shot, so... Now it's just finding the time to edit it. But uh, leave me some nice comments and uh, make me want to do it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Insta. If you want my 3D designs, find me on Thingiverse. Uh, Username is KpopRC. What else would it be? Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, Hopefully I'll pump out more content. It's been pretty tough lately. But uh, I've I've got some stuff on deck. So uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe out there. K-pop out.